This freaking game. I love it. <laughs> I assume this is this little house. Woof. Woof. <laughs> Indeed. It must be bigger on the inside. It has to be. Come on. Did you see that suit of armor? It was like 10 feet tall. At least. Okay. Ooh. Very rickety looking bridge. Hey! Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold, the Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! Oh, Jesus. What have you done with Greater Dog? What's he doing there? <laughs> when I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each pass will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! <laughs> well, what's a hold up? Hold up! What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! That uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Away it goes. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> Whew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Very decisive indeed. Sans. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. I do, don't worry. I stuttered when trying to read your stop signs thing. <laughs> What's this? It's a little plant. Hello, plant. Welcome to Snowden. Welcome to Snowden Town. Snowden. Snow... Because they're snowed in. I know I shouldn't be smiling, but... Sometimes I just can't help it. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Listen to the music! It's so lovely! Oh, it's so lovely! There we go. Shop! What's in here? Oh! Hello, Traveller. How can I help you? What have you got? I've already got that. Mainly bandana. Armor 7. It has abs on it! <laughs> Fuck yeah! It's the best abs I'm ever gonna get. Bicycle. Eels 11 HP. Twice. Eat it twice. Uh, sure. Cinnamon bun. Yields 22 HP. It's my own recipe. Uh, why not? We'll buy everything. Even though I can't really have 22 HP. Do you sell things? Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. <laughs> What's up? Hi. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? I sure am. What do you do here? What do I do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grubby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. <laughs> There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. <laughs> I bet it has. Puzzles everywhere. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, 
Some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. I could always call up Napster Bluke? I'd be too depressed to do it, don't worry about it. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? It is. Sometimes shit sucks, but it's gonna be over soon. Even if it takes a long time. That's everything. Bye now. Come again sometime. I will. You are lovely. Thank you very much. Let's go in here. <laughs> in here. <laughs> I'm so good. Fuck. Welcome to Snowed Inn. Snowden's <laughs> premier hotel. One night is... Oh my god. That's expensive. Well, feel free to come again. Okay. 80 gold's a lot. Mum says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? I don't know. Health points? That's what it usually is. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna attempt to go up here and I will be stopped by some invisible force. Okay, fine, I'll pay the money. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Sure. How am I supposed to sleep with that? <laughs> what a bunch of majestic sleepers. Can I leave now? Okay. Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were only up there for t about two minutes! <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. I love it. Here's your money back! Oh! Well, thank you! You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Sure. Oh, that's right, one night stays 80 gold, and I was only up there for two minutes. What's my maximum HP now? Uh... Ooh, 30. Cool. Now I can probably use, um, the cinnamon bun. What's this? Don't want to walk the other side of town? Try the under-snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Huh. I want to talk to these guys first. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. What is it? She's taking a little... This is my little cinnamon. Just the cutest. Bun buns are so adorable. It's a little bunny. Oh, they're so cute. But you're a bunny too, so... Is that your brother? Or your sister or something? Bun 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 bun. <laughs> I think I've figured it out. No, never mind. <laughs> bun 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 bun. <laughs> Who are you? Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Is that where it came from? That's not usually the way we do it, but hey, I'm glad we can have some common ground. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Hey, you know about Santa. Who are you? Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Yay, we're both wearing striped shirts. Oh, we're going to be best friends. I wonder if that weird skeleton is an adult or a kid. <laughs> well, like me, he's, what, like six foot one, but he behaves like a child. <laughs> That's why me and him get along so damn well. It's a very big bear. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> fish lady. Who is this fish lady? Is that Dr. Uh, Alphys? Alphys? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh, it's a bar! Cool. You look roasted. No matter where I go. 
The same man, you. Same people. Help! I want new drinks and. Uh, hot guys! <laughs> One day. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> sure. You look like a person who could eat a lot of stuff. Hey, fellas. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. <laughs> you better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. I want to sit down somewhere. Let's talk about hot guys now. Can I? Wait, I guess the bartender's kind of hot. <laughs> I guess he is. And I've heard that they have things called bathrooms. They indeed do. And they are full of shit. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I, I heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the on the erasure of our local culture. It's a new word. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. Yes, the jukebox is broken. Then what am I listening to? So jazzy, I like it. Hey, hot guy. Grubby said that he's off that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> well, I'm a, a an entity about the same man in your position ought to never touch such things. It's a wonder how you go outside. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. Oh, is that who the fish lady is? She's rude, loud, and beats up everyone who gets in her way. Oh. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. <laughs> Hello. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Hey, it's you! You're the one who cast out that thing. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. <laughs> I guess I could ask out Undyne, but I think she likes someone already. Oh, really? Interesting. I want to be like Undyne when I grow up too. <laughs> hey, big fella. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Just great. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. Makes a statement like, attach a lease to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> Sure. Hey, it's Lesser Dog. It's playing poker against itself. <laughs> it appears to be losing. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. Oh, I love this bar. I'm gonna come here all the time. <laughs> Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes. Just trying to figure out modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. <laughs> you have the ears of a certain prime minister we used to have, and he was a joke. You could be just like him. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why, why be word about it? <laughs> I'm a very uncultured gentleman, so I don't know all these fancy words. Do not trick me. What is this potted plant? It is indeed a potted plant, and that's all it's ever going to be. What's up here? What is up here? <laughs> Mustache rock. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. What's this? Let's play monsters and humans. I'll be the human. You aren't going to make me be the human again, are you? No, no, no. I got that role. Let's go in here. <laughs> ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. <laughs> ah, my 
my patience rewards me. <laughs> Let's not do that too many times, you might get a little overstimulated. Hello, wolf, sir. Why are you throwing ice into the water? <laughs> Just trying to keep everything pixelated. Probably. What's up here? There is a whole lot of nothing. Okay. Let's go along here. Hey, it's a library! Wait, the library. The library. <laughs> um, excuse me. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. <laughs> okay, never mind. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? <laughs> How did you know? Ugh. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. That sounds like an awesome newspaper. <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of getting sick of I'm kind of sick of writing this. Uh, uh, horrible memories of grade 10 to 12 flash back into my empty head. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. We are, yes. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. <laughs> definitely me. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet patent birthday card. Someone out there surely has. Maybe. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. <laughs> because they are made out of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. <laughs> right. Well, just as well I'm being nice to everyone. Monster History Part 4! Fearing the humans, no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved the harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again. Our king is really bad at names. <laughs> I'd love to meet your king. Wait, Asgore. No, no I don't. He sounds like a prick. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monsters' souls are made out of. But the absolute nature of the soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. <laughs> wow. That is a fantastic observation. I like it. Nothing else peculiar about this room. Okay. I'm glad I went to the library. <laughs> it's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Indeed it is. Whose house is this? It's locked. I don't think it matters. Okay. It's a shed. It's locked from the inside. Hey, there's that snow tunnel thing. Oh, this is probably where you come out of. Okay. I remember that. <laughs> Hello, Ice. Oh, it's foggy. It's very foggy. It's very... <gasps> Papyrus. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like... 
the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now! <laughs> I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend! You are a human! I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream! Powerful, popular, prestigious! That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh, God. Papyrus blocks the way. Oh, wait, 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 no, don't fight you. Oh, God. I am not hurting you. Okay. What's up with you? Eight attack, two defense. He likes to say, yeah, yeah, indeed. Really? Papyrus is considering his options. Hey, sexy boy. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Yes, I do, handsome. W well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I have zero... Re <laughs> I have zero re redeeming qualities. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. Oh, it's that kind of date, is it? <laughs> I love how piss weak your attacks are. Oh. I'll drink to that. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Okay, I'm gonna flip with you. Oh no! Let's date later, after I capture you. Okay. I'm. I. Seriously? <laughs> Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. So you won't fight? Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled BLUE ATTACK! <laughs> I think I'm doing okay. Oh! What? I... I can only jump. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Indeed I am. Oh my god, the music's getting more intense. Hmm. I wonder what I should wear. That looks fantastic. Honey. <laughs> Papyrus dabs Mariana sauce behind his ear. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Yes, you are. Don't lie to me. Please don't lie to me. Oh, that's a slow one and very tall one. Oh my god. It, uh, too easy. Papyrus dabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. What on earth is that? Yeah! Don't make me use my special attack! Sure. Uh, crappity. Okay, that's too easy. Papyrus dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity! Mate, you are already popular in another universe. Let me assure you of that. <laughs> Papyrus dabs MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. He's a skeleton, he doesn't have ears! Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard! How absolutely fabulous. Oh god, wow. Papyrus dabs entity brand attraction slime behind his ear. Papyrus unparalleled spaghetti or Oh crap! Please don't kill me. I love you. Okay. Papyrus dabs entity brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. <laughs> Your head must look like crap by now. Undyne will really be proud of me. Quick, 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 okay. 
Ah, oh, damn it! I'm running out of health. Made it. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Oh, it's a bad bloody time. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Oh my god, that would just be amazing. I would have that in my garden. <laughs> you have a wonderful smile. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. <laughs> Wait, come on. Oh my god, okay. How am I so bad at this? Um, I should put up the mandana, actually. I equip the manly bandana. I'll have lots of admirers, but... But what? Ah, god damn it. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Of course he is. I'm gonna have one of the bicycles. You eat one half of the bicycle. You recovered 11 HP. Will anyone like me as Cecilia as you? I don't know. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Ah, crap. Papyrus is cackling. Of course he is. Someone like you is really rare. Well, thank you. Yeah, I I'll admit to that. Whether that's a good or bad thing is entirely subjective. Papyrus remembered a bad joke Sans told him and is frowning. <laughs> and dating might be kind of hard. Oh wait, don't move! Ah, testicles, damn it! Papyrus is rattling his bones. Again, again with the rattling! After you're captured and sent away. Ah, God damn it, no, I'm so bad at this. Fucking hell. Bicycle. Oh, unicycle. <laughs> unicycle. Whatever, pick one. Ugh, who cares? Give up! Never. For I am rare and you are rare as well. That means we are a match. Certainly. Papyrus is considering his options. Give up or face my special attack! I would rather do that. I will never give up my quest. He's rattling his bones again. Yeah! Very soon I use my special attack! <laughs> You're all talk! Oh god damn it! And I'm all crashing into fucking shit. Special okay, um cinnamon bun. You ate the cinnamon bunny! My HP was maxed out. Ah, oh, it's 22. Not too long and I will use that special attack! You are talking smack, buddy. Where is it? I'm not seeing it. Oh, crap. Damn it! He's cackling. This is your last chance before my special attack. Oh god. Okay. He remembered a bag jokes <laughs> again. Behold, my special attack. <laughs> what the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that boot! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! <laughs> oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. <laughs> he is getting ready for a regular attack. Ugh. <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking, come on! I'm not dying right now. Oh my god. <laughs> cool. Dude. Skateboard. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Oh, well this is very handy. Oh my god, that's a big bone. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! No, help me, please! <sighs> ah. Too easy. Well! Ugh. It's clear! You can't... defeat me. Yeah! I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I... The great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Ah, oh, he's sparing me. Thanks, buddy. 
You're so sweet. No! I can't even stop someone as weak as you! And I'm going to be so disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Garden. My friend quantity will remain stangent. Stagnant. What should I say? Oh, that's so mean! Let's be friends. Let's be BFFs. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie! We haven't even had our first date! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone! <laughs> Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and them fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through! And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human! He wants to open up the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well... He's a big fuzzy pushover! <laughs> Everybody loves that guy! I am certain if you just say... Excuse me, Mr. Demur. Can I please go home? He will guide you through the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, let's let's have that date right right fucking now. We're doing this. We are doing this. I don't care. This needs to happen. Hey, big fella. So, you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Where are we going? <laughs> Holy crap, we're walking so fast. <laughs> what? My house! <laughs> Where else, buddy? Oh my god. What are you doing? Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Will do. Let's have a look around. That looks like a PlayStation. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans! Please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Can you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! <laughs> it's still there. Uh, what's on TV? Oh! It's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this! This is just a bad episode, don't judge me! <laughs> Let's watch it again. <sighs> Still the same thing, okay. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold, wow. Uh, sorry for looting. Do you mind? Of course you don't, it's all good. What's this? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> oh, that's very responsible of you, Mr. Sir Papyrus. Papyrus? Pronouncing your name wrongly? That's the trash can! Feel free to visit it anytime! 
<laughs> Will do, buddy. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! Anything is better than quiche. <laughs> quiche tastes like moldy butt. Oh, I'm glad it's filled with sugar. What's in the fridge? Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers, all labelled spaghetti. <laughs> the other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. <laughs> Lovely. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more birds under it. Take a look-see! <laughs> what?! Oh my god, look at its eyes! Catch that meddling canine! Oh, I'm trying to... Curses! I love you too. You're just the best.